guys, it's your girl Bianca here aka Nurse Bezos and um, today I'm going to talk about nursing programs and um, just, just kind of like the type of nursing programs are out there and the type of nursing program that I'm in. Okay, so there are several type of nursing programs that you can choose from. There's the traditional four-year um, bachelor's degree route that you can take where you apply at um, a university. There's also a, um, and that's a BSN. There is a ADN or ASN, and uh, ADN stands for um, Associate Degree in Nursing, and then ASN stands for Associates in Science Nursing. And um, you can get that, and that's a two-year, and um, that's really common where you go to a community college, you do your prerequisites, and you apply to their nursing program, and that's how you do it. And then there's um, other nursing programs where they're accelerated programs, but they're um, usually the private institutions, so you go and you can start from start to finish. Like, pretty much everything that you need to get done, you can do it in that program, like your prereqs and all that other jazz. And you oftentimes get, a, I believe they have BSN versions, and they also have ADN or ASN versions too. I'm currently in a ASN, no, ADN, which is a um, associate's degree in nursing. It's a two-year program, and I'm in a private school right now. Um, I want to give you some of my backstory on how I um, got to the school. Of course, for security purposes and stuff, I'm not going to tell you what school I go to, but I'm going to tell you like how I ended up getting to that school. So um, back in 2015... That was the first time I attended college, and I started at a community college in New Jersey, and I was I did full time the first semester, and I did I had some developmental classes that I had to take, I did that, and I also um, after doing that I had English that I had to do and um, a few other things, and then um, the second semester I spent two semesters at that community college, and the second semester I took a. Um, I, don't know, I took um, in, no, I took comp one and psychology, and then after that I transferred because their tuition was really expensive. So I ended up transferring from that community college to a community college that was in my county, and there I completed two some. I actually completed three semesters there, and um, I ended up actually um, I had to repeat a class because I wasn't taking it that seriously at the time so I had to repeat a class I repeated it three times yeah I repeated it three times before I finally like got it done um, like I said I wasn't um, I didn't try and give much of an effort at all I missed ton of class like I literally didn't go and um, yeah that's how that happened but I don't do that anymore so I know the struggle of, you know, whatever, not being motivated to be in school because, you know, it hurt me, whatever. But after I did that, um, I wanted to um, get on the list for nursing because at both community college that I was at, I was um, I was um, following the nursing track. So after completing the prerequisites, I was due to um, apply to a nursing program. However, the waiting list for these nursing programs are for the community colleges are ridiculous. Like it was um like two years, um, and they wanted a three point two and up, um, an eight average in your science classes, and you know, having to complete all your prerequisites before. And mind you, at this time I didn't have any anatomies or sciences or anything like that. And so I um you know, I was still staying hopeful, and then when I went transferred to the other community college, I was like, you know, I'm going to still do the same thing, and that community college was even worse because the county was really big, and um, oh my god, the odds of getting in, I would, I would probably get into that nursing program at the age of 50. That's how bad it was, but um, they only accepted like 15 people a quarter. Can you imagine? 15 people. 15 to 30 or 70 a year they only accepted like 70 a year but I realized that I didn't want to um I didn't want 
gonna wait for that. So I decided that I was gonna go the private college private college route. Granted, I knew that it would cost so much more money because it's a private school, but at least I know that there wasn't any waiting list. Like once I got in, I was good. And so that's what I did. I ended up transferring to a uh, college of nursing and I'm there full time right now. And that's been probably the best decisions that I ever did. Granted, I had to like uproot my whole life because I was living in New Jersey at the time. So I had to leave New Jersey to come to Florida in order to um, take on this program. But I'm very, 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 very happy I did. Um, the program that I'm in, it is an accelerated program because, you know, normal semesters are 16 weeks long. And um, my semesters are, my we were not semesters, we're quarters, and our quarters are 11 to 12 weeks long. So pretty much 11 weeks long. And um, it's fast paced. Like I literally finished a quarter and here I am starting a new one. And I'm in week two already. So the time is like always like moving. And I really, really, really love that. And um, my school has a really great um, NCLEX rate. And that's another thing. Um, when I was doing my research, I did a ton of research. Um, when I did my research, I looked up the NCLEX scores. I looked up anything that I could look up. Student, I actually came on YouTube and I found someone who went to the school, watched all his videos. I um, found their page, followed their page. You know, I just did like a lot of work because like I knew that this was an investment that I was going to make. And um, I just wanted to make sure that it was the right investment for me. And so that's where it is. That's where I am right now. I'm in quarter four. So after this quarter, I have officially four more quarters to go. But, um, oh, I'm sorry. It's my phone because, like, I also work for a staffing aid company where we get paid the same day. And um, they actually just sent, they just sent um, a late call or whatever to work. But anyways. But yeah, so um, I would definitely see, and they have um, BSN accelerated programs too. I I originally originally I wanted to do the BSN program accelerated because I knew I would be finished with a bachelor's. But then I took a re like a, a reevaluation of my current situation right now, and I figured the two year route ADN route is best for me, and then I can do my BSN online while gaining experience and while making an income so I can also accomplish some other goals that I wanted to accomplish. So um, that is that. So like when you're looking for a program, just be aware of those different qualities. Now, if you have the, now, one thing I will say, community colleges, their tuition is super cheap. Like a hundred, there's, it's super cheap, not nearly as much as what I'm paying right now, but with that being said, with community colleges, you just run the risk of not getting in as soon as possible. I'm not saying that you won't. It's just you won't get in as soon as possible. And someone like me, I had to get in as soon as possible, okay? Like, so that way, you know, I don't know. I just needed to because, like, like I said, I started in 2015, and I officially started nursing um, at the nursing college 2017. So, it's been two years of work that I've been doing to get to this point. So I was like, I don't want to waste any more time. But um, if you're someone like me that um, doesn't want to waste any more time, then I would definitely go to an ADN or ASN program, see what they have in your area. Definitely apply for your community colleges and also look at your um, private college options. And one thing that I often hear a lot of people say, and my brother, for example, I'm going to use him. Um, he's, I always, I'm always motivating him to like, yeah, go back to school, you know, whatever, because he just graduated high school. And every time I'm telling him, he's like, well, I don't want to go because I don't want to take out student loans. And I'm like, why that shouldn't be what stops you? You know, if that was the case, we wouldn't have doctors, you know, no one can just finance education like that. So like, why, you know, so don't let money get into the way and stopping you. Yeah, 
granted you will have to repay those loans but there are so many different opportunities out there you can do a, a loan forgiveness program you can do um they have tons of scholarships like the nurse corps scholarship that you can apply for to pay for your loans you just have to give them um, to pay for your schooling you just have to um give them a certain amount of time and you know just stuff like that so like i don't think you should ever stay because loans i'm not gonna go to school like that is to me that's dumb you know like don't let that get into the way because like by you not going to school because of loans you're still gonna be broke and you're still gonna be struggling you know what i mean might as well and you know take your loans out use it as an investment so when you finish schooling that money that you earn of course you can pay your loans with but it's not like they're going to have you pay 50 percent of it in the first first graduation no they give you time and then the trick is if you continue going to school you can continue to defer the loans you know what i mean but anyways y'all so that's what I just wanted to talk about. Um, sorry I rambled about, but, you know, I just wanted to get that out there. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop that heart emoji down below if you made it this far to the video. Be sure to like, rate, and subscribe. And um, I know you guys are loving my consistency because um, I am going to say what I said I was going to do and do what I said I was going to do. Okay, so um, thank you so much for watching, guys, and um, happy school searching. Um, also, I will do a series like um, steps to get into nursing school since I've mastered that already. <laughs> I will do a series because um, um, leading up to how to get in certain things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.